Welcome to another pellet gun and well, another well Tangled's not pellet gun but I want to differentiate by baby gun to pellet gun so you just just call it pellet gun I guess you can say. It's it's a baby gun, you know, steel BBs. Like and I don't have any. I don't have I do but I don't have any on hand. Um so yeah. It's the forty XP by Umrex, or oh, you can see it's by um maybe I zoom in a little bit in that. by UK which is Umrex is that? No UK UX Umrex okay. You got stick mag it holds let me get the manual, I'm not too sure on this. Um it holds twenty rounds. 20 steel BBs, you can put them through here. Now you can do that, or you can just put it all the way down and just put the BBs here. BB? Uh, BBs, um, I prefer 19 rounds because you put 20, it gets all munched up. My mags messed up because when I put them, they all scatter out. Not because of this, but well, it's mainly because of this. It's not because if I just go like this. Um, something's wrong with it, so I just put the BBs. Leave this thing here. Put the mag in, and it should lock. And I don't know. There we go. Um, it's, I need to look, let me fix it a little bit. There we go. Since it is blowback, it does that. Of course, you know. Since it's blowback, you know it does that. 4 XP, and it's, it, is, it doesn't come dual tone like mine, you know. It looks like this. All black. Mine looks like this because I use sandpaper. Like, it still has the black lines, which look good. I try to get rid of it so it can be all, like, not polished, but all, like, you know, dual tone, metal slide, like, metal. It's not, no, no, no color. Which I do right here, and I messed up, and I asked some people, and I said that it looks alright with the black, so, you know, can't do nothing about that. I can put paint, but it's just gonna look like shit. And got this part, this part, all of that part, this part too, this is be black too. Got the little barrel a little bit, you know, some of it's still blackish a little bit. And look at the sights. Sights are good, everything. Fiber, fiber optic sites. I, I, I assume they're fiber optic sites. I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I'm pretty good. Safety's right here. It even tells you. I don't know if you can see. Let me try zoom in. Um, give me a minute. So I'm doing all this by hand. I'll have that. You know, on that zoom bullshit. Um, there we go. Umrex caliber 4.5 millimeter, 1.177 1, 1. steel BB. It just takes BBs, really. You know, steel BBs or copper heads if you want. And this is a serial number, which I don't know if that's the actual thing, or this is a serial number. I don't know which is which, but um, it has this you know, trigger. Has this little soft thing. I don't know what it's for. Um, I guess it's um, a safety trigger, so. If you're gonna shoot it, it needs to be like this too. This needs to be down too. Also, you have a rail. You can put anything you want. You can put um laser or flashlight. Like I already have the flashlight now. I got it from a friend. I got the laser, which is the background right there. So the gun. Yeah. Um. You can do that. Or you can just leave it like that. You can get one of those rail systems. You just put like this. It goes like this, and it goes like right here. So you can put. A green dot side, which I have too, um, which it comes like sides like this, like this would be here and it'd be over here. You have that if you want to put all that stuff there. Like I said, stick knife and the CO2 goes right here. It's in the handle. Just put it in there. I don't know if you can see that good. Let's see. Um, yeah, I don't. Put it in here. Close it. Well, best thing is just not to close it yet, put it in here. Then this thing right here would be 
that releases the CO2 and just twist and twist until you hear that, that pressure until it breaks the little capsule then the CO2 will release into the gun but make sure when you hear it, shh, that little psh thing just like close it real quick so you don't want to lose that much you can buy the gel thingy so you can put on like I don't know what you call it, it's a gel like a lubricant you can put on the thing so you won't lose that much CO2 and it can perform perform perform, perform better Yeah, so that's basically what all the gun, the specs, and everything. Well, mostly everything. Just go ahead and check this out. Like I said, metal slide. This is metal. Metal slide. Low back. 400 FPS, which is pretty good. 12 gram CO2. Like I said, blow back. 20 rounds steel baby and smooth barrel which I believe the barrel is yeah the barrel is also metal which is good because some guns have everything else except for the barrel which is plastic sometimes um that's basically all the stuff I'm reading right now and see how far it goes single action the weight is 1.5 LB 0.68 Grams or kg, where you want to call it, kilograms. There you go. Um, velocity up to 400 FPS, like I said. Danger distance 325 yards. So, I guess you can, you know, if someone's running 325 yards and you shoot them, they can still get, they still, they can get hurt or die or whatever. It depends where you, you know, hit them. Over length, the sights is um, or I mean, overall length is the gun is 7.5 inches and 19.05 centimeters barrel length 4.25 inches 11.43 centimeters which is pretty good and single and semi-auto action so yeah I'm reading on going through it and everything's pretty good you know it's a good gun I, I prefer you get it's like 50 60 bucks at least at Walmart you know, sometimes they they say they um they only sell like 40 XP at Walmart. 90 they have a 9 XP which not not 90 but 9 XP just in like a 9. 9 XP is um they sell on Amazon. And it's basically the same thing, but you can buy it for 67 bucks and it gives you three mags, one already in here and two more. So it's it's pretty good. I get that one up something different besides the little. Nine that's gonna be engraved in here. That's about it. That's a like point difference. Plus the mags, which I'll just use for the other gun. Which give one there and leave the other one. You'll have the dual wheels and everything. So yeah, it's the the specs, everything, everything overall that I just reviewed. What do you see? Like that little lubricant they had to put there. The twisting everything, basically the manual that, and how to shoot it, which one's right. And this actually works, you know, sometimes I get accused when I'm shooting. In total, I only killed one bird with this, and that was just a accident, you know. I'm not saying I didn't, I didn't like it, you know, but overall, it's like, I got, uh, well, it's just one bird, so, um, it's alright. I killed, like, I don't know how many more birds, but now with this gun, my sniper, which broke, but I'll get another one, and I'll do a review of break barrel. I'll do a review of that. Yeah. Hopefully you like this view. Don't forget to leave a um give me a, a subscribe, um leave a like, dislike like and dis dislike is just just your choice. If you hate my voice, if you, you know people criticize, so if you hate my voice, hate the way I do this, just go ahead and dislike it if you want. But if you like it, just like it. And subscribe and Please leave a comment, good or bad, it doesn't really matter. You know, it is the audience choice. Obviously. Um, so yeah. Let's go ahead and subscribe and hope you love this review. If not, just let me know and let me, let me know what you think or would be better off, like suggestions basically. Well, let me end this video. Goodbye.